Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to give you an update on a University Hospital of the West Indies redevelopment project. Now, as you know, an unprecedented level of development is happening in Jamaica. The buildings are getting taller and taller. The tallest building in Jamaica was 17 floors. Then a 24, 20 floor building was built. And then now we have four buildings being built at 28 floors. The highways are stretching from one end of the island to another. Hotels are being built on the entire north coast of Jamaica. The number of hotel rooms in Jamaica will double within the next few years. Double. Airports are close to capacity. Roads have to be expanded. $40 billion being spent to fix roads, highways being built, highways being expanded. Unprecedented level of development. And this is just a start. Much more to come. Many more projects to come. Now, one thing people always ask is, everybody is happy with the progress, what about the hospitals? Well, the government has a plan to invest billions of dollars to rebuild hospitals. This is the University Hospital of the West Indies, and that building we're looking at there is going to be demolished and a five-story high-rise build, a six-story high-rise building is going to go up. Five of these six-story buildings are going to be built on the compound. Just at this hospital alone, this is the University Hospital of the West Indies, billions will be spent to rebuild the hospital. So we're going to go through an article that gives more information on the redevelopment project. And it's going to be done in phases, and phase one is to start soon. Work is slated to begin soon on phase one of the University Hospital of the West Indies redevelopment project. This will include the realignment of the ring road, which is a key infrastructure enhancement that will facilitate the phase development of medical towers on the hospital grounds. These high-rise towers are part of the hospital's strategic initi initiative to upgrade existing medical facilities, accommodating the growth accommodating the growing healthcare needs of the public over the medium to long term. Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, signed a 278 million contract and broke ground for the undertaking at the hospital's premises in St. Andrew. He was joined by Chairman UHWI Patrick Hilton, Head of Neurosurgery and Medical Chief of Staff, Dr. Carl Bruce, Minister of Education and Youth and Member of Parliament, St. Andrew Eastern, Favor Williams, Minister of Health and Wellness, Dr. Christopher Tufton, Managing Director, Dwight Construction, Benton Woodbine, and Acting Chief Executive Officer, UHWI Fitzgerald Mitchell. Addressing the ceremony, Prime Minister Hune said the modernization and expansion works are critical to the delivery of health care in the island. He argued that the contract signing and groundbreaking ceremony marks the beginning of a transformative chapter in the history of the University Hospital of the West Indies, noting that the current hospital infrastructure with its aging buildings and inefficient layout poses numerous challenges from maintenance issues to overcrowded departments. Mr. Holness said the proposed redevelopment aims to address these challenges by modernizing facilities, enhancing departmental synergy, and expanding critical care services. He added that the incorporation of modern technologies and the provision of state-of-the-art facilities will further alleviate the hospital status will further elevate the hospital status and capabilities, ensuring that UHWI remains a center of excellence in the region. Today we sign a contract for 278 million. Phase one, which will be to realign the ring road, to demolish some old buildings, 
to make way for a green field, meaning a clear area in which we can construct this wonderful six-story building, which we will which will have important services, operating, surgery and ward spaces, and specialist services. That will improve the health care that Jamaicans have access to, he said. The Prime Minister said expansion of the infrastructure is critical to address the needs of the population, noting that sp spatial development is paramount to address the land issue in Kingston. He said it is hoped that the redevelopment project at UHWI can be used as a model. I need this project to be done efficiently. It must be done on time and it must satisfy all the stakeholders because we need to hold it up to say, see, here is what we have done. And if we did it here, we can take this model and carry it elsewhere, Mr. Holness said. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister said he will continue to implement projects that will improve the lives of Jamaicans. My job as Prime Minister is to improve the lives of Jamaicans and I will implement any good idea or good project that does that, he said. Alright guys, that's the end of the update article. So let us know what you think about this project. Leave your comments in the section below. Alright guys, have a good day.